Who wants a snog before the nominations? <laughs> oh, baby. It's 4 a.m. in the Big Brother house. This week's task is to cycle from Land's End to John O'Groats on an exercise bike. The group have bet half their next week's food budget on succeeding, so have set a 24 hour cycling rotor. Is it 12.2? We've done 69. The only proof of the distance they've cycled is a computer readout. Oh! Oh, my God! What? I've just pressed a button. What did they do? Stop. Stop, stop, because it's not registering. Hang on. Yeah. Press it again. Hold on, don't... Use that. Oh, fuck. I keep turning it slowly. I guess it might still be registered on yeah. it. If we let it sit for four minutes, it'll go off. Oh, bollocks. Yeah. I lost it. Do you let No, we usually go in under training, oh. which I don't think registers it. We'll wait and see what they say. Sorry, it was just... They've got it recorded on the air anyway. Come on. What was it at? Yeah. Oh! No. Oh, shit, bike. It's here. Uh, it's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm oh, <laughs> so sorry. I knew I could feel Nick was going to fucking kill me then. <laughs> yeah, you were about to bite into me, Nick. I'm going to get Double quick now. I nearly shit myself then. In spite of an injury, Craig's on the bike, but Darren had to pull out of the rotor. He's developed a sore knee and a bad back though none of the group are finding the task easy. It is torture. Uh, at the moment it feels like it, yeah. My hair's like shit. I haven't had any makeup on in three days. Yeah. Sweating like a pig. Sweating like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> and I really don't care. It's like you getting it. Do it. Yeah. It's like what they got in store for us next week. Matches behind our toenails that they're going to set fire to. Tie you to the bed and try the drip technique on you. Sarky <laughs> <laughs> oh, cow, aren't I? Nice. I'm sorry, I'm too tired and too delirious to be kind. <laughs> I used to be kind. I was going to go and yeah, kick Darren's head off. Get. <laughs> he is such a wuss. Swollen, uh, swollen knee, my ass. The boys are a lazy bunch of kids. While Craig recovers from his stint on the bike, Andrew and Anna work out how much further the group has to go. That means we've only got 435 to do. Sounds like right to me. Brilliant. We reckon it takes us four hours per hundred. Yeah. Probably four, eight, twelve, sixteen hours. Yeah. Twenty hours. Yeah, you're right. Sixteen hours. Which means that we'll be finished really early tomorrow morning. Oh, sensational news. Fantastic news. Bloody knee. We were so lucky. With two nights spent cycling, the group are sleeping when they can. Some more than others. It sleeps in the day. <laughs> it sleeps at any time. It sleeps at lunch. It is the incredible sleeping man. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so far, no one's mentioned that it's nomination day. This afternoon, for the second time, they'll each have to nominate the two people they want to leave the house. I drag your fire. Who's tied it up? I did here, oh, and yeah. Mel did out there. It's very well wanted to sound pedantic. You know, to impress the last few people for the last few hours. <laughs> <laughs> 
Chris, I will lick some ass. Yeah, I'm going to just start snogging some people. So I've got me lippy on. Who wants a snog? Who wants a snog before the nominations? He <laughs> <laughs> wants a French <laughs> After his stint on the bike, Craig is still sleeping. Energy levels are low in the group. I thinking doing a, um, a curry today, Darren, for dinner. We've got a hot chilli powder as well. <laughs> Do, um, have you taken out any chicken? We haven't got any. We didn't have so none? After a vegetable curry. Yeah, a vegetable curry would be nice. Andy, you know all these vegetables in here? Do they stay in there? Do they need to be pot in? Uh, the Big Brother house yeah. has its own fully stocked vegetable garden. But in spite of their many shopping crises, the group have barely utilised their homegrown produce. Andrew is a group member who knows most about gardening. All right, do you reckon we should put some beetroots in this curry? Eh? Hey? Oh, do you put beetroot in curry? Not really. Yeah, it'd be lovely. You reckon? Yeah. It is like really sour. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. <sighs> How do you know when the potatoes are ready? Andrew? Um. We snipped those, basically what you're supposed to do, apparently, when the tops die like that, then you yeah. snip them off and you leave them for 10 days. All oh, right. So I think these are almost going to be ready to, uh, to pull out. We we'll stuck to snip those off. Let's have a look. It's exciting. Yeah, isn't it? Pulling yeah. up and stuff. Hey. Oh, wow. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have the new potatoes? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Wicked. Put these in the curry. Lovely them potatoes. They're proper, aren't they? I think we'll stick them in the curry, actually. Oh, yeah. Go get some chives then, Nick. What, oh, no. Ready or not? <coughs> Here I go. You can hide. What's that? I'm onion. Gonna onion. onion. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> and take it onion. slowly. It's some chives, isn't it? A spring onion, isn't it? Was it? Is it chives? No. Oh. Where's the There's a bottom to that. There's a what? There's a bottom to that. Have I cut the wrong bit off? Oh, the chives. No, look, give it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, dig up the onion. Yeah, dig Shit. it up. Where's the chives at? Don't know. Chives are thin. Yeah. Oh, don't pick on me. <laughs> I'm trying to be green fingered today. <laughs> Sure, it's them, there's chives. No, it was a spring onion, spring onion. and I've left the onion in the sock. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, you love it, baby. Well, riding on the bike. The task's going well. After cycling 800 miles, the group's three quarters of the way there. But there's a problem in the house. Guess what, Mel? New chicken rules. Why is it given to Darren? How funny. Right, we've been overfeeding the chickens. Big Brother supplied you with enough chicken foods to feed the chickens for 10 weeks. <laughs> And we've used that all in two weeks. <laughs> uh, don't give them any potatoes or potato peelings. Yeah. Alrighty then. Cool. That's really bad. But well, I can't carry that in my bag back. Can you do it by yourself? Of course I can. Good. <laughs> <laughs> he's so funny to watch when he's doing like physical stuff. But he's like got a fag hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> And he picks up his whole bag and it's quite heavy chicken feed. <laughs> they call me Candor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, chicken chickens. No. I think it's really funny when someone like him, he's, mm. he's older and he's more, I don't know. More worldly? Yeah. yeah. You know, he's yeah, a bit more wise. And he's done all this kind of endurance stuff, like he used to be in the TA, TA and, you know, done all these, like, hardcore missions and stuff. And he's fucking crying about riding a bike. It's like, Jesus Christ. It's not crying. But he's the most stressed out of everybody. I know, I don't know why, but he will help everyone get most stressed about things, though. I came out of the dining room and he goes... You know, when he can't, he started a little bit, he goes... You were in there a long time. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of grimaced instead of smiled and, uh, yeah. Just kind of looked at certain people for me. It was not nice. He does that a lot. Sometimes, sure sometimes I realise he's been looking at me for like five minutes and I'm like... It's not... Oh, yeah, it's, no. it's not nice. <coughs> Are we joking? Soon, <coughs> we shall cut your heads off and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Four right. minutes, darling. Great. Get stretch in. Great. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right, let me put my shorts on. Oh. Oh. I, want, I want to hear the story about when you were younger and what happened and why you were in a chicken hut in the first place. Of course I will. 1986, I was nine years old. Mum took me to Jamaica. Now, in Jamaica, most of my relatives raise their own chickens. They have goats, they have calf, they have cattle. Yeah. They've got, like, farms over there. And in his yard, like here, he had the chicken coop, but he didn't have a chicken run. His chickens were free. And he said to me, he's going to cook one, he's going to have that one. He wants that one for tonight. He's going to eat it. So he goes, oh, shit, it won't come out. And I think it was a cockle. So he said, you go in there and get it. And I said, what, do you want me to go in there and get it? He goes, yeah. He goes, all you have to do is grab it and bring it out. So I've got, gone in it, and I'm going like this to think, fucking hell, which one does he want? All of a sudden, they've come at me and just started going, yeah. I'm going, hey, get him off me, get him off me, get him off me. And they've gone, shit, mum's come running out. He's opened the chicken coop, grabbed me out, and I've just been, like, scarred and scratched and pecked. From that point, never, ever again would I ever go near a chicken, cos that's, that's my fucking fear since nine years old. This is the first time I've been in contact with chickens, and I'm glad that I've come in contact with them and had no choice but to... Do you know what I mean? Cos now it's gone. Is it still warm? Yeah, it is, yeah, but it's like a Oh, that's nice. Sweat out my hair. It's gone again. <laughs> Lucky I'm not washing my hair. There we go. And although I hate to say it, I think it's going to be. A week ago, there were ten Big Brother housemates. Sada left on Friday, and now there are nine. Today, for the second time, they must all nominate the two people they want to leave. The two or more with the most votes will be up for ejection on Friday, with the public phone vote deciding their fate. Well, we can be told tomorrow, and then it'll be sunny, and then we'd all just go out and have snake bites. Yeah, definitely. Comfort each other in a drunken stupid. This is Big Brother. It is time for your nominations. Come to the It's come to the diary. What a palaver. <sighs> God, um... OK, the first person I'd like to nominate is Craig. Um, the reason being that I don't feel he contributes equally to the team. And the second person I'm really struggling with is either going to be um, Darren or Caroline, I think. Caroline's having quite a hard time here. Um, I also think um, she's the one that's going to suffer. She's going to break under the strain, uh, under the stress and the strain of it more than anyone else. And therefore, I think um, completing the task might prove to be a bit more difficult with her than without her. And although I hate to say it. I think it's going to be Caroline. So that's Craig and Caroline. Can Nicola please come to the dining room? I'd like to nominate um, Andrew and Craig. Andrew, I still feel, is a bit yeah, too sure. competitive for the group, as in he's, he's a bit a bit sort of self-centred. And um, Craig, probably because, yeah, he sleeps too much and really doesn't do a lot within the group, I suppose. I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah. Brought, brought back Rose. a few bottles. Yeah. Oh, the two people will be Caroline and Craig. And the reasons uh, for them are the same. Um, the team would uh, be more efficient without those two people. Right, I'm going to start with custard today out there. Take my mind if everything. Yes, good. I'm looking forward to that. Caroline, because, same, same reasons as the last time, really. She's, she's done a brilliant recovery after um, being sort of rescued last week by the public. I think she's, she's really kind of listened to us and, and sorted a few things out. But still, I mean, I, I don't... 
I don't really connect with her as a person. She's not through. such a strong team player. And, and Nicola, this is a really tough one. I've seen her fly off a handle at some pretty small things, which you can't really, you can't really do in a kind of closed environment like this. You've got to be civil to everyone. After four people's nominations, Craig and Caroline have got the most votes. They've both got three. The two people I would like to nominate are Andrew, because he and me haven't really clicked. And the second person is Tom, simply because... Uh, for no other reason, then, I have to pick somebody else, if that's a good enough reason. Having been nominated to leave last week, Caroline is the most anxious. <laughs> um, I find this really, really difficult this week, obviously in view of what happened to myself last week. Um, but my two nominations for this week, I think, um, my first one is Tom. Um, I'm not sure of his contribution to the group. Um, I think he lacks empathy and I think in a group situation like this you need it. Um, and my second uh, nomination hasn't changed from last week. Um, it's Andrew. Um, I think he's very controlling. He makes no allowances for anybody else. He wants to win at everything. He's just too competitive and, you know, I don't think he knows who he is. Darren, Darren come please come to the diary room. room. Andrew has now caught up and, like Caroline and Craig, has three nominations. I would like to nominate Andrew and Melanie. Andrew, um, just that if he gets out on Friday, he'll be able to see his little brother racing on Saturday. And Melanie, um, because basically she's missing her mum and it would be nice for her to see her mum, etc. A fourth vote for Andrew makes him favourite to leave. The two people I'd like to nominate, uh, one is Caroline, uh, again, uh, for the simple reasons, uh, the same as last week. Uh, she's still quite annoying, the way she talks and the things she says and does, does annoy me. Uh, the second person um, is Nicola. Uh, she's been quite selfish, uh, quite fiery as well. She can be quite annoying in this environment. Caroline and Andrew have four votes and Craig has three. Today I am nominating Darren and Caroline. I am nominating both of these people because I believe they don't bring enough to the group as a whole. Uh, Caroline's effort is somewhat limited. And Darren, I think, although his culinary skills are quite good, uh, we can survive without those. But his input in other areas is not enough. The two people nominated yeah. to leave the Big Brother house this week yeah. are Caroline and Andrew, but they won't be told until tomorrow. Nicholas has not been nominated by anyone, nor has Anna. An hour later, Nicholas and Craig discuss who they think will go. Yeah. Some things? Yeah, it's good. Nominations are a pain. Yeah. I think if Caroline is next week, I think mean, she'll go. She'll leave anyway. So the public will do. Public will vote it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's two guys, we're difficult. I think, see, I, I think Andy in a way has, you know, he's been too much of a boy with, with all these costumes, etc., etc. It's almost too much like, you know, fables. How mm. it might go, you know. I'll see it's constant, you know, mm. stories of uh, I sexual think, prowess. Yeah. I think the public might see that uh, Andy's a bit up for the cameras in here all the time. Mm. When he tells you a story, he can't just tell you he's got to make it proper. You know, he's got to gather people around, he's got to keep talking about it, he's got to... Nicholas did not nominate Andrew. That but he right, did I? nominate Craig and Caroline. It's a horrible wait now, isn't it, until tomorrow? Don't worry, Reiki Master. Mm. Uh, always worry. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be here to the end. Is <sighs> only what, the end of to go, yeah? Yes. 
314. Is that all? To go. Is that all? Mm. That That's is excellent. all. <laughs> Are they cold? They should be, fairly. Oh, they're gorgeous. Mm, baby. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Right, yes, please. For how many? Serve me and Dazza. Me. Caroline wants to come in. Have a look, Tom. <coughs> Plenty. That's amazing. That it's more That's amazing. It's equal. perfect. Wicked. Good afternoon. Hello. Loads of it's from our own garden as well. Mm. Did all your These are potatoes, they are. Mm -hmm. the Excellent. I dare dream. This is the nicest curry mm. I've had here in a long, long time. So good. Darren, Joy should be very proud of yeah. you. Yeah. It's one of the nicest meals. What yet. a cook. <laughs> At 3 a.m., they're 20 miles from John O'Groats. And Andrew is about to relieve Anna, the only gay housemate, of her shift. Yes, yeah, so it must be pretty hard sleeping in a room full of women. Sorry? It must be pretty hard sleeping in a room full of women. It must be pretty hard sleeping in a room full of women. Yeah. Me? Why? Well, cause if I, I, I know the way I feel, and uh, oh, right. <laughs> it would make it a high level, a hell of a lot worse. Oh. Mm. I reckon. I suppose it'd be different if you fancied some of them. I don't. Really? Yeah. None of them? No. <sighs> mm. This whole house seems pretty non-sexual, though. Completely. It is, very much. I think everyone's trying quite hard <laughs> to keep it that way, isn't it? Which is quite upsetting. Mm. Me and Melanie from the same university, that's mm. uh, pretty tricky. Isn't it? Yeah, I'd love something to happen there. That'd be pretty cool. What, a bit of a, a fling thing with Mel? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? What she thinks. So hard to tell. Yeah. I, find, I find it really hard to get close to her. Like... She's so... Yeah. Unbelievably so. Everything is logical. Mm hmm Yeah, when she speaks, even about her emotions, whatever. Very practical, yeah. logical. Which kind of suggests it's all quite unstable underneath. Yeah. <laughs> the lady with the smallest bladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're right, it makes it really awkward. It's just like, whoa. Mm. Yeah, she's quite a closed girl. It makes you, and it makes you feel well, you just don't want to show that side of yourself either. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You were so well up for romance and uh, after two days. It's like, slow down, Andy. Yeah, exactly. You've got ten weeks. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'd love to. I'd do. I'd like to think I'd do anything I could to stay in here. Yeah. And I'd probably start with just asking people why. And, Would uh, you ask people why? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't. That'd be my mate. That'd be my first reaction, I think. Who goes? You decide. To vote Andrew out, ring 09011 980 101. To vote Caroline out, ring 09011 980 102. Calls cost 10 pence.